Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys 15 Spanish YouTube channels that I believe are going to be very helpful for your Spanish study. I am very excited that I'm finally making this video more than half a year ago when I was trying to find such videos online as a source of study. I didn't have much luck, but after half a year's little research here and there and explorations online, I finally narrowed down my way to these 15 YouTube channels which I'm gonna share with you guys today. I have categorized them into four sections. We have animation, then we have online Spanish teaching channels, and you know, more ordinary Spanish YouTubers. And the last one is more news related. So without further ado, let's get started. So this first category is my personal favorite. I just, I like animated videos cause it catches my attention and I find myself more concentrated on the videos because you know, with the animation, there are always things popping here and there on screen and your eyes are always following what's going on. It's sort of like how a cat reacts to laser pointers. You just follow the next thing happening on screen. So the first one is called Hemisferio Derecho and most of its contents are related to like personal development, uh, motivation, productivity, and coaching. I really like the style of his animation and he updates a lot. You always have something new to watch. And the second channel is Tad Spanish. Tad Espanol. I know you guys all know Tad Talks, but this Spanish channel, besides real speakers giving talks, they also have some animated contents, which is my favorite and in my opinion are very well made. The colors and the animated figures were just all very enticing. And if it's a Tad video, you'll always learn something while watching these videos, even if your primary goal is actually just to familiarize yourself with the language. The third one is called Vida Practica. I actually found this channel like last week, but I am really loving it. That's why I'm including it in my list. So one of the things that I appreciate the most about this channel is that the speaker doesn't talk super fast as most of the Spanish speakers do. I think it definitely enunciates each word and I find myself understand his contents a little bit better even if I don't turn on the subtitles. Um, and then the fourth one, which is the last one in this category, is called Academia Play. It's very informative and very educative, especially if you want to learn stuff about history. It also has contents about art, architecture, philosophy, psychology, science, almost all the subjects that I can think of. I find myself a big fan of these videos because you can actually learn something, it's just in a different language. And the second category, as I said before, is online Spanish teaching channels, where native Spanish teachers teach you expressions, grammars, data exams, some culture stuff. I actually mentioned two of these channels in my last video. Feel free to check that one out as well. So the two channels that I have included in that video are Spanish with Vicente and Maria Española. They also upload videos pretty frequently. I would say two to three videos each week. So you always have something to learn, especially in this very special time of the year. Okay, so the third channel that I'm gonna recommend here is called Your Spanish Guide. I feel like his stuff suit better for beginner to intermediate level Spanish learners because the expressions that he teaches are more common expressions. Something that you can use actually every day. All his videos are pretty short from one minute to one minute and a half, which means that you can use fragmented time to learn something, maybe when you are on subway, you are bored, or when you are waiting for public bathroom, or waiting to pay. And the last channel that I'm gonna recommend in this category is Todd Super Holly. Maybe you guys already know her because she's one of the most popular Spanish speaking YouTubers. Even though she's American, her Spanish sounds pretty native. So her channel is different from the last three one because she's not teaching Spanish in her channel. She's teaching English to Spanish speakers. I bet there are millions of times when you are trying to find the perfect Spanish word for a very typical English expression, but you just have no idea how to say it. For example, when you are trying to say break up, break out, break down, break through, you know, these things. So she's teaching the Spanish speakers how to say these things in English. And also she teaches, let's say, the word quedar. So what are the English translation for quedar in different situations? Which is also why I am recommending her channel as the last one in the Spanish teaching category. So the third section is more ordinary, you know, YouTubers. I have 
six. The first one is called Raquel Bookish. As you can tell from the name, most of her videos are book related. I am not at the level ready to read any real Spanish book, but I like it that she shares a lot about what she learns from the book. And from her videos, you can actually get pretty solid advice about motivation, personal development, creativity, productivity, good habits for your life, etc. But of course, if you are already at the level of reading Spanish books, she's got a whole series of book recommendations. And the second channel that I'm gonna recommend here is Azul Mystical. So she's from Granada, España, and she's got this southern Spanish accent where she sometimes does swallow syllables. Before being a full-time YouTuber, she worked in Emirates. She also has worked in Disneyland, France. So she has little sections sharing her work experience. I like the airplane stuff a lot because you get to know some you know, like inside info, like you shouldn't really drink the water provided on plane, that kind of stuff. Moving on, the third one is called NDGM in Berlin. This channel is a little bit special because she is actually from Madrid, but she lives in Berlin. So she speaks German as well. And she shares a lot of content about German study. And she also teaches some German expressions in Spanish. So if you're learning German as well, this is the perfect channel for you. But if you are not learning German, some of her contents are normal vlog sharing her life in Germany and some travel vlogs as well the first channel is called peace and vote it's a beauty channel but you know what to expect from beauty channel so if you like videos about makeup hairstyle fashion these kind of thing try this one and coming next is also a lifestyle blogger whose name is Silvia Munoz de Morales it's so long but I will of course leave all the links down below in the description section so just like any other lifestyle blogger you can find videos about beauty fashion travel get ready with me what i eat in a day that kind of thing for me i think this kind of video is perfect to play in the background when i'm doing my morning routine or making breakfast having breakfast because these are very light mood stuff and you don't really need to focus that much on the contents you are only focusing on what words she's using for these daily activities and i think I think this kind of video can be can be helpful in daily communication. So now we have our last channel that I'm gonna recommend in this category. It's called Atrapa Lu Sueño. Most of her stuff were actually food related. Visiting supermarkets in different countries, trying out food in different countries. But my favorite section are actually her challenge videos. Like 24 hours eating like people in Casa de Babel. One week eating for one euro, one week being vegetarian. These are just pretty interesting stuff to watch just for fun. So our last, last channel is called BBC News Mundo. You can tell from the name, of course, part of the videos in this channel is news related, but it's not like TV news that you watch on TV. Uh, most of his videos have a speaker who talks about what's happening now. There are also contents about like science or they have documentaries as well. And oh, they also have animated videos, which are as cute as the ones that I recommend in the first section. So these are the 15 channels that I am recommending. And I find it amazing that when I first watched these Spanish YouTube channels, I I didn't understand much. I couldn't even pick up the words that I know from the videos. But now I feel like I find myself being able to grasp the main information from the videos and I can pretty much follow what's going on in the video. So I think by watching these videos every day, no matter how much time you watch each day, it doesn't matter as long as you do it every day, your brain is really taking information in Spanish. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you like it, give me a like and good luck with Spanish study. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!